and we'll go reverence yeah. the altar. Wait for the Lord, be strong, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serp serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses, accordingly, made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who, was, who had been bitten by the, by the serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, in all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has built Zion, has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height, from heaven he beheld the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away, and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, He is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below. 
I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's a small space to be moving around in such ways. <laughs> but I'm happy to welcome everybody, uh, or welcome uh, Father Adam Ahern, a good friend of mine who is Brother Priest, ordained the same day that I was about five seconds before I was ordained, and uh, he's been off serving our country in Kuwait and Afghanistan. So he just arrived uh, yesterday and will be with us for a few months until the Lord takes him to another assignment, uh, wherever that may be. Um, but in any event, we're grateful that he is here. Our first reading today tells us about the Israelites, our ancestors in the faith and their long journey that they had. And in point of fact, the scripture says that they were worn out by their journey that they, they felt this, um, you, what you might call Elijah disease, where you just kind of feel like sitting under a tree like that prophet Elijah and just saying, well, the heck with it, we're done. And um, the ancestors that of ours in the faith, they were on this perilous journey, right? And it wasn't perilous at all, of course, but it seemed that way to them. And there they are, were on their way to the promised land. Uh, and the Lord knew that they were struggling. And he, he basically tells uh, Moses and Aaron, hey, just tell them to hang on and to, to keep the perseverance um, that is within them. They just have to dig a little deep, keep that perseverance growing and grow it and, uh, and hang on. And then he says, hold up a staff, a wooden beam, of course, prefiguring the cross. And he says, have them to look at that. And I think there's good advice, and, and our Lord speaks similarly in our gospel today, but right, like when we, when we feel like, uh, like we're just kind of like blah, you know, and we just need some perseverance that we just look to the cross and we receive the grace that we need, even in the looking at it, even in the looking at what our Lord did for us, what he bore for us. Um, we receive the, the wherewithal to keep on going. I happened to watch this video the other night, in the middle of the night, it was 2 o'clock in the morning, 2.45 as a matter of fact, and it was uh, from Britain's Got Talent, and there's this Irish priest, and he was singing this song, Hold On, or no, it's uh, Everybody Hurts by R.E.M., and it's, and it's called Everybody Hurts, and he goes, I kind of want to sing it for you, but I'm not going to because I'm on camera, and this could go, be, go in a bad place, but like, and when, when the night, you know, when it gets hard, you know, like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Isn't that what the, the Israelites, that message that they received from the Lord was just hold on, keep on going. Look at the cross, look at, the, look at this staff, you'll be fine. What Jesus said, look at the cross, we'll be fine. Persevere, persevere, persevere. And, um, and hold on. Uh, even in the midst of the hurts, even in the midst of the blah, we just hold on. And persevere, the Lord's got a good place uh, in store for us on the other side of it all. Well, 
Let us bring our prayers to the good Lord. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for his intentions, his safety, and his health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all those who govern the lands of the world, especially our own president and governor and the, uh, all those who, who guide our countries and states in the world, that they might always enact and protect good laws that afford life, dignity, and peace for everybody. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those displaced by this virus especially. We pray uh, for those uh, medical professionals, those who work in our hospitals, and um, those who take care of us so nicely. Uh, we pray that God might grant them strength and protection for them and their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Pray for all those who, who do feel like giving up, that God might give them strength and that they might simply look to our Lord and his cross and receive the grace to keep on going. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Pray for all those who have lost jobs recently, especially those who have children to care for. We pray that God might, um, might come to their aid. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Pray for all those who are hospitals and hospice care, those who are homebound, hungry, those without faith, without family, without friends, that God might grant them relief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For all who serve our country, that God might protect them and strengthen them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For a generous increase in vocations to the priesthood and the religious life, especially from our own families and from our parish. And we pray that at least one of the children currently enrolled in our school will become a priest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And we pray for all who have gone before us in faith, all the souls in purgatory, that soon they will see God face to face. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we place these and all the prayers of Holy Mother Church before you in your mercy and love. We ask you to answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who we so to share in his humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of this holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Charles our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us now pray the prayer of spiritual communion. Precious Jesus, although I greatly desire it, at this moment I am unable to receive you in the most holy Eucharist. Therefore I beseech thee, O Lord, to bestow upon me mystically all those graces I would otherwise receive. Fill me up until I am overflowing, so that I may in turn share those graces with the rest of the world. Amen. What is past our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart. 
that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Bow down for the blessing. O God, who chose to show mercy, not anger, to those who hope in you, grant that your faithful may weep as they should for the evil they have done, and so merit the grace of your consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, Cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ, angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide, Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us.